Well, hello everybody. Uh, today I'm uh, doing the um, video translation of uh, a video which my friend and I uh, collaborated on. Uh, this is uh, Blanca Pasapera and Intelecto and myself. We were together at the uh, uh, Rebel Yell and <laughs> it's not Rebel. It's the uh, the Yell and the Bell. Uh, which uh, was with the president and um, this was our experience from the ride to our experience there and um, I do have more more uh, footage that I will be adding in some videos um, video uh, pieces that you know to show you what what we actually witnessed but anyway so this was my friend uh, Blanca Pasapera's uh, rendition and I'm going to translate it to English um, so that we'll have both languages here, okay? So that uh, people can see it both ways. Okay, so here we go. And let me switch the, the uh, main... Uh, let me see. We're going to end this one and start here. Okay, so here it goes. So this is our trip. So this was the trip on the way um, from, uh, uh, what's that name, Toluca, to uh, the Zócalo, which is right uh, in the center of town there where um, the president was going to be doing the yell. So this was the route. And this young man, the driver, told us that his daughter loves watching YouTube. So we exchanged information with him and told him to make sure and watch himself on our channels and to tell his daughter about us. So she says, because the road is very long, we're only going to show you a few mi moments of it. And due to technology, or thanks to technology, we've already arrived. She says, they've given me, look what they, what I have in my hair. It's red, white, and green. Somebody gave me this. And she says, thanks to Silvia. So this is outside the, uh, so this is right outside. Um, before we even got to the place uh, where they were going to be having the yell, uh, the streets were filled with uh, merchants selling their uh goods and their wares and she was just saying look at even uh, commerce is celebrating she, she said look at all this ambulatory Hay commerce there's they're selling flags uh, some Hay waters so to drink Mirando. they're like fruit waters and look what I found here Little dolls of the president, aren't they beautiful? It made me very, feel very emotional. And look at these cups saying the famous phrases of the president. So changing the world with justice. Oh, what is this, she says. Oh, a grasshopper. Oh, she says, not Chapulín Colorado, was a comedian. It's a, it's an insect, a cricket, and oh, they just dry it and eat it. So they want to give her one to taste. So she, she's gonna eat it. Oh my God, that's so disgusting. Oh, oh. She's 
Oh my God, she ate it. It's a little bit spicy. She says, I ate one. Oh, I ate a cricket. Ah, disgusting. So they've got some masks here, which are very typical. And there's the speakers, like if you want to be yelling, megaphones. They've got lots of cool things there they were selling. There's lots of ambulatory commerce. And there's corn. She says they call it choclo instead of elote, which is what they call it in Mexico. It's these huge, huge grains. Check out these guys with their masks. There's lots of commerce. Look at his masks. Look at, they've got uh, AMLO masks. Check it out. Yeah, it's very easy. You can look like him now. So, he, so he's selling the t-shirts. So, <laughs> she says they made a mask of the president. And look at that beautiful shirt. That's uh, artists' uh, um, work on their clothing. Lots of hats and typical things. So yeah, it was like this huge swap meet. Huge, long, long uh, area of uh, swap meet. And she says, I'm... I'm reporting from Mexico to Peru because she's from Peru. She got an ice cream. So we're, see, look at the uh, police are on both sides of the road. And this is the principal entrance. And everyone is uh, being controlled. You know, they're, they've got all these police um, making a presence. And they've advised us not to bring... And she says, we were warned, or I was warned before I left my country not to bring any um, uh, backpacks or any purses or anything that might attract, uh, attract the attention of thieves. So in order to protect ourselves uh, in this way. Because people that try to steal things. But instead, we found a lot of happiness, lots of brotherhood, lots of patriotism, lots of patriotism, lots of beautiful people. People are giving you their hand, they're helping you. Yeah. They, their experience, they want to be here with Andres Manuel, they want to be in the fiesta, celebrate the uh, yell of independence, but above all, celebrating the change of regimen that we are waiting on. This is one of the adornments that we see at the principal entrance. It's the 20th of November. And this that is receiving it now, what you listen to at the end, well, it will be illuminated completely later. But look at the people. They're already practically full already so it's still it's 6 p.m. there's still five hours before the yell but the fiesta has already begun 32 federal states each one had three presentations artistically the spirit which which we lived this uh, uh, fiesta what there was people with smiles and happy full of uh, hopefulness waiting for the president for the great uh, yell of independence at 11 p.m. as the night fell and the socalo you couldn't put an, any more people in it this plaza has an epoxy uh, a capacity of 160,000 and as you can see, you know how many people or souls were there that night. In the previous years, 
this would not be appreciated like this. The president would have to force and encourage people to come so there would be somebody in the plaza. Now the story is different, and we have already taken our place. And Mara is full of happiness because after 50 years, she has returned to her country. She was a child at enjoying the fiesta. I would like, I wish that we could have something that could actually let you feel the happiness and what we are feeling here today and what I am narrating today. Normally they say that in these times there is rain, but today we did not have rain. We had a, a day with sun and it was open, the skies were blue and the beautiful uh, skies like cotton clouds and the night fell and the dancing and the beautiful colors were making the people happier. And we started having the first sets of lights in the National Palace, and you could see the majestic palace, and they had this beautiful, marvelous uh, lighting, and the people is full in the plaza, waiting for the independence they yell. Uh, from Andres Manuel López Obrador. And look at the people. Mexicans. Mexicanos. Female Mexicans. Male Mexicans. Long live independence. Long live Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla. Long live Jose Maria Morelos y Pavón. Jefa Ortiz and Domínguez. Viva. Viva Ignacio Allende. Viva Leona Vicario. Long live the mothers and fathers of our patriot, our country. Long live the anonymous heroes. Long live the heroic people of Mexico. Long live the communities, indigenous communities. Long live liberty. Long live justice. Long live democracy. Long live our uh, sovereignty. Long live the universal sovereignty or fraternity. Long live peace. Long live the great cultural diversity in Mexico. Long live Mexico. Long live Mexico. Long live Mexico. Wow. It was really tremendous. So that is where our vantage point was. Uh, we were all sitting there together. And um, he was, he rung the bell 30 times is my understanding. And everybody's yelling, yes, it, we were able to do it. Yes, it was possible. Yes, it was possible. Yes, we did it. Yeah. So the people were yelling all kinds of um, things that day uh, in uh, solidarity and um, to show their support for Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. And as I understand it, later I heard it was 190,000. So the Independence Day yell, Mexico was happy. And I was emotional with my Mexican friends that I hoped that someday in Mexico we would be, I'm sorry, in Peru, we would be able to live something similar. Um, yeah, that that's beautiful. I'm sorry. 
Um, I got my uh, pictures mixed up. Uh, but anyway, um, um, in many places of the world, they're living the same uh, problem, which is neoliberalism, which was introduced to the uh, Latin American countries by uh, countries that, well, not countries, I don't want to say necessarily who, <laughs> but uh, there were people in power that were uh, taking advantage um, of the Latin American countries, or have been for many years, taking advantage, and they're, um, uh, the people are living in horrible poverty and conditions, and Peru is among them, and that's where my friend uh, Blanca Pasapera is from. and. Uh, uh, she sang a song. Uh, you guys might want to look it up. It's a beautiful song. Um, I probably should translate it because the words are so touching and moving. And it's about um, having someone t to guide us out of this poverty and corruption. And that's what Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador uh, did for the Mexican people. Um, and he gave us something to be proud of, too because um, the corrupt government and people in power in Mexico made it an embarrassment to be Mexican. And now we can raise our heads high and we can say we have a good, great president and um, we can raise our heads about being Mexican even in, in a country where there's so much abuse of the Mexican people and uh, uh, they're treated like uh, someone that is not wanted uh, in some cases, you know. And uh, hopefully uh, that the Mexican people will be able to go back to their homes and uh, to their native Mexico and live happily there as opposed to living in a place where they feel unwanted. But anyway, that's just my little piece. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.